So God gives you a spiritual father for instruction sake. A spiritual father for it's natural than spiritual. It's to bring you to a place where you hear his voice through a voice so that it brings you to a place. Now that I can hear his voice for myself, all the pastor is is training wheels to a bicycle. And to the day he can take the, tra the training wheels off and you can look back and say, look daddy, I'm doing it by myself. My sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. But we lean in the black church because we lazy and we always leaning on somebody else. We leaning on the welfare, leaning on big mama, having babies and dropping them off at everybody's houses. When folks sitting up molesting folk, they sitting up touching babies and you leaving your baby everywhere. You, I don't care because they're a family member. Hey, Amen. Most of the folk who are pedophiles are family members. Most folk who rape and molest kids are, are uncle, cousin, brothers, and aunties. Y'all ain't helping me here. But you got a party. Because you got to understand, I'm not leaving my kids nowhere. I'm not leaving them unless God lead me. Because I know the voice of the Father. I know preach up in here. But you gotta understand you can't rely upon Bishop. Bishop is to bring you to a place uh, to heighten your awareness. Uh, to bring you to a place uh, of saying he's my earthly father. But my heavenly father is going to instruct me. I can hear from him. I'm going to show you in the Bible. I can hear from him for myself. Uh, my safety is in hearing my voice of the father. That, that safety, the spirit of my father shall rise up in me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? High five your neighbor say who your dad Come on, say, who your daddy? Who your daddy? Jesus told the Pharisees, he said, you are not of my father, but you are of your father, the devil. I think I need to ask you something. I came to ask you one thing. Whose blood is in your veins? If somebody here came and told me, I got a teacher let you go. If somebody suggested that Tashana, Janae, Jessica, and some of y'all don't like them, they number the devil, it's all good. Tashana, Janae, Jessica, Sean, or Judah. If somebody were to suggest uh, that one of them children are not yours, but ain't yours, uh, you don't look like you, that ain't your child. You know what, instead of taking your word for it, I'll sit there and say, you know what? There's one way we can know for sure. There's one way we can know for sure. We can go and get a blood test uh, because the blood it's going to tell because children carry the blood of their father. I'm going to come out the mother, but the blood comes from the daddy. The daddy determines the seed. It determines if it's a male or a female. Y'all are not helping me here. I'm telling you this. If I were to cut you open spiritually, what blood would you have? Because your blood is going to tell me who your father is. And all I'm saying to you is this. If you don't have the blood of Jesus over your life, then your father is not God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't know about you, but when I hear the blood, when I start talking about the blood, let me give you the litmus test. If you say God is in you, and you hear a preacher under the anointing mention the blood, if you don't start crying and jumping and getting happy, if it don't quicken your spirit, if the word of the blood of Jesus don't do something for you, then you got the other father in you. Because when I think of the blood of Jesus, what can wash away my sin? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. His DNA is in me. The voice of the Father is in me. God will walk like I'm, talk like I'm, have power. Like I'm, I'm getting out of your way. I gotta teach this word. I'll have some power. You, let me tell you how you know who your daddy is. Whoever you desire determines. My children, I'm thankful to God. All five of them love me. People who see my kids, they say, my God, them kids love their daddy. They hug up on me. Always laying in my lap. Always want kisses. All of them are always on me. And God spoke to me and said, son, see, when somebody genuinely loves you, they want to be in your presence. They want to lay on your leg. I remember growing up, my mother would sit there and lay on the sofa. I want to lay on the thigh, lay on her ankle. My son, Sean, fats is like this. Or if I'm in the bed with he's in the bed with me, he tries to lay on me. If I push him off, he'll put his toe just, just on me. Daddy, I just want to touch you. I got that the whole Anybody that says that they love the Father, you just want to touch him. You want to be around him. I don't understand you folk that come late, leave early. I don't understand you folk that don't tie, don't pray, don't read, don't call on him, don't want his word. Sit up for hours on Facebook and don't talk to God. Sit up for hours on MySpace. Don't talk to God. Sit up in movies, lying and sin. Have no conviction. Sit up here and run behind boys and girls and 
you don't never chase your father. You don't love your father. You don't care nothing about it. That's all right. You ain't got to help me here. But children adore their parents. Children want to be with their parents. Children want to be with their father. What little girl don't want to cuddle up in her daddy's lap? Truth of the matter is, whoever lap you in, that's your daddy. Whoever you coming up with, that's your daddy. Whoever you hanging out with, that's your daddy. Look at your daddy. Look at somebody say, who your daddy? See, whoever you spend time with, that's your daddy. Whoever you long for, that's your daddy. Your words are revealing to you. My son ought to talk like me. My children ought to say what I say because they ought to have my spirit. Shout hallelujah. But if you got the spirit of God in you, how can I talk to you? For years sitting up under me, I ain't heard one scripture come out your mouth. Yet you're saved by convenience. You leave God. You get up in the prayer line when you want to pass. But you ain't got no intention on leaving here and stop sinning. He told a woman caught in the act, go and sin no more. We get up in the prayer line. We want to be blessed and healed. But we don't want to serve and follow. We don't want God. God are not helping me here. We don't go after God. If Bishop can pray for me, I'm all I'm going to show you this Bible today. Mark the perfect man. Hurry up, y'all. Close and listen to me. If you don't have this, all good. Watch this. In Isaiah 9 and 6, he's the Prince of Peace. Matthew 5 and 48, he said, Be ye perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. So the perfect man with a mark, Deacon Brown, is Jesus. But the church wants you marking them. Yes, yes. Follow me, glory to God. Bless God, follow me. Follow the man of God. As I follow Christ. That's important. What did Jesus tell his disciples? It's expedient that I go away. If I go not away, the comforter will not come. In other words, if I stay here with you all the time, you will never lean on my father. You will lean on me. You can cast out devils, but you won't do it by the Holy Ghost in you. You'll do it by my 